Alright, got a story to share today about the shining heart. And we're going to mix it up a little bit today um, from the original uh, sharing of the story from Vanjie Clark. Thank you, Vanjie, for sharing a good book with me. And in this story, we're going to talk about how everybody has a heart that inside has full of jewels. And in that side, those jewels, there's lights that shine bright, yeah? And what we do every day in our communication is going to make lights shine brighter or not. Right? So there's four ways that you can share in your communications with others. It, it is all about the words that you choose, right? That's important. But it's also how you share those words. So it's about tone of voice, the way that your um, words come out of your mouth. And it's about your body language and your actions and how those all back up the words that you say. All right, so, so the little girl in this story, we'll call her Tallulah Rose. And little Rose, she grew up thinking that there wasn't anything that she couldn't do because everybody talked kindly, used great um, tone of voice, body language, actions were all kind. And she grew up in a world that supported her and encouraged her. And she just knew that if there was a problem, she could sort it out. She Everybody could put their heads together and think it through. She didn't think life was easy, but there there was life with ease with ever good communication is involved, right? So she grew up, she went on to the world, doo -doo -doo -doo, and she crossed over the seven seas, right? And she went to a new place in the world, but it was a rude awakening for Tallulah Rose. When she got there, she was really hungry, so she asked somebody where that she might could find something to eat. And they did not even stop and um, pay attention to her. Right? They just went on their way, busy, and not even paying attention. And she was kind of hurt by that, right? And then when she finally did get somebody's attention about that she needed a place to stay to, to spend the night, they kind of screamed and yelled at her about just find a place to be on your, that, like, you know, don't leave them alone. It wasn't their problem, right? So she was, like, getting really sad by all the choices that people were making with their words and with their tone of voice and their actions and body language. And so it was kind of like her light started to shine so bright because it was almost like cement started to be poured around her heart light, all right, her shining heart. And the more people were not so kind and the more that they didn't work through problems, they just created problems for one another, the more and more she uh, had a hardening of her heart. And whenever Tallulah Rose went back home for Christmas that year, she couldn't, her family was so surprised and so shocked because they could not believe who she was because they couldn't find that shining heart at all. It was like it had been completely covered up. It was like rock solid with meanness. Because you see, whatever kind of behaviors you uh, associate with, well, that becomes the behaviors that you um, kind of uh, take on yourself, all right? So thankfully, when Tulu Rose came home and you could not see her shining heart at all because she was not making great choices with her words or her body language or her actions or her tone of voice, well, the mom took her to the wise old woman in the village. Hold on a minute. I am the wise old woman in the village, and I'm here today to tell you that I solved her problem by going over the four points of communication with Taluna Rose. Now, do you know those four points? Let's say them again. So the four points are that you need to use words that are kind. Kind words, everyone. Remember, you are all teddy bear friends. Yes, so friends like the, the type of toy you'd like to sleep with and feel comfortable and secure and safe with, right? Oh, yes, yes, you're a teddy bear friend and you use kind words. And your body language is open, not closed. And your frown is not, uh, is upside down, you is smile. And your eyebrows are open and not angry eyebrows, right? Right, yes, body language. Word choice in your tone of voice. Yes, you want to have a kind tone of voice. Not a harsh tone of voice. A kind one. And when you are around people that have uh, smart and kind behaviors as well, well, you see, all the hardening of the heart will just be chipped 
away. Yes, we can say it melts away. And inside, you can see the jewels that make each one of us the individuals that we are. And when your light can shine so very bright, then you can do the work that you're designed to do in the world and the way that you're designed to do it. So everyone, let your heart shine. Let your heart shine bright and make sure when you work with your communication with others that you choose words that are helpful and not harmful. You have a tone of voice that's appropriate. You make sure your body language and your actions match. And then we will have more people like Tallulah Rose who think there isn't anything they can't get done because nothing is impossible.